points for Alpha Tauri in Bahrain. Is that the current level of performance of the car or did the weekend throw up some unforeseen problems? Unfortunately, I think it's currently the performance level of the car because uh, we expected a much better car. We struggled in uh, Bahrain. Looks a little bit different here. I hope that uh, at least uh, we are with one car in qualifying three, but uh, we have to do a lot of um, um, things to, yeah, to make the car faster. And uh, especially on the aerodynamic side, there are different programs uh, going on, but um, and the engineers tell me that uh, we make uh, some good progress, but I don't trust them anymore. I just want to see the lap time because this is the only thing which counts. Franz, can we break it down? What are the issues with this car? Too less downforce. Down, less, not enough downforce? Not enough downforce, therefore the car is unstable under braking, overheating the rear tires, washing out at the apex, bad traction, everything what you need to do a good lap time. And do you expect, with only five what we call breaking events here in Saudi Arabia, do you expect to be more competitive here? Yeah, here in uh, Jeddah, the characteristic of the racetrack is completely different. And um, both drivers were um, yeah, not satisfied with the car, but they said the car feels better. Then in Bahrain, we have still some understeering problems, which we have to get rid of. And the rest then we will see. Friends, you say you don't trust your engineers anymore. Yeah, because Do you mean that? Because during the winter months, they told me the car is fantastic. We make it a big progress. Uh, and then we come to Bahrain and we are nowhere. Okay. What should I say? Can, can we talk about the drivers then? A lot was made over the winter of your desire to see Yuki step up. Have you seen the improvements you wanted? Yes, Yuki made a big step forward, uh, not only from the driving side, also from the technical side, his technical feedback is uh, really good. And um, I must say also his race uh, was competitive. I think he got uh, most out of the car. Uh, and uh, Nick is still learning. And uh, what we have to provide the drivers is a, a fast car, then they are there. Both of them are high skilled drivers. Both of them showed in the past that they can uh, win races, that they can win championships. It's up to the team to provide them with a competitive car. How's Nick settling in? Very good. As I must say that uh, he is quite familiar with the team, with the engineers. And um, it's, as I just mentioned before, up to us to give him a good competitive car. Because Helmut Marko did say after Bahrain that he'd like to see Nick step it up. Uh, do you agree with him? Nick will step up. If he has a good car, then he will be there. You know, if you are a young driver, a newcomer in Formula One, then it's even more difficult if uh, the car causes uh, troubles. And it's easier with a competitive car to show a good performance. And um, I'm convinced that uh, Nick will uh, increase his performance and uh, that he will show us good races. All right. Franz, thank you very much for that.